Hey guys, so I am back with another apartment update video. Today I just wanted to show you guys my shoe wall! I'm actually standing on my bed right now so you can get the whole picture, but about a week ago Nick and I installed the shelving that you see here and all of our shoes, well 95% of my shoes take up the wall, but they're all organized and it's just a much better situation that we had than we had in our previous apartment. Alrighty, so first let me explain how we put these shelves together. All we had, it was actually really incredibly easy to do and it wasn't that expensive. I'd looked into some options for like built-in closet systems from like Container Store or Home Depot and just, it was looking like it would cost over $500 to get something like this put in. Maybe something that's a little bit more elaborate than this. We took the cheaper route and we went straight to our local hardware store down the street. And it only cost us about $120 total to put all of this together. So all we had to buy was two um, strips of tracking, which is the two bars that you see against the wall. And then all of the shelves and then the white little hooks that you see holding up each shelf. So we had to buy two for each one. If you're handy with a drill like Nick, you can get this done in under 15 minutes. So I'll start right here with these two pairs of shoes. We actually have this old bedside table that was in our old apartment next to our bed and we have new ones here, um, matching ones because we can actually fit two. So we just have the table right here. Uh, it's just from Target. I actually, I actually love these flats. So these are Tory Burch and then these are my brand new Sam Edelman jeweled sandals that I just got for spring. All right, so I will start from the bottom. In that basket there, I just have a ton of sandals and like flat little sneakers. Obviously, I didn't have enough room on all of these shelves for all of my like Jack Rogers and various little summertime sandals and flip-flops. So I just have them all there in that basket. And then moving along, I have my boots. Some of these shoes I've had for so long, I feel like they might be on their last leg. But I just have a pair of black boots, Hunter rain boots, my Burberry rain boots, and then my tall black heel boots that I love. And I just have another pair of suede boots over there to the right, a pair of BCBG wedges, my cowboy boots, and then a pair of Rebecca Minkoff flats. Shelf number one. This is where I've just been keeping all of my booties and I'm a little embarrassed because some of them are a bit dirty. They got really... Shoes in New York City get very beat up. I'm just keeping all of my boots here. I feel like I need to get some of them cleaned, but I just have a few different pairs of booties. My rag and bone ones right there are that neutral tan pair. And then I just have a pair of short leopard rain boots. All right, shelf number two. So this is where I keep just a lot of my pumps and heels. I have a pair of black Marc Jacobs pumps, my favorite Louboutins that Nick got me for my birthday, a pair of shoe mint heels, some strappy black pumps, and then a pair of sandals from French Connection that are new. Shelf number three is some more heels. So this pair all the way on the left is a pair of Gucci sandals. And before you go crazy like, oh my gosh, she's Gucci sandals. I actually got these at the Gucci sample sale. I got invited, my boss brought me with her, paid $50 for those Gucci sandals right there. And then I have another pair down here on the end. These Gucci heels paid $50. So two pairs of Gucci heels for $100 total, not bad. Uh, but then right there I have my Stuart Weitzman leopard sandals that are brand new. I love them. They're actually really comfortable and beautiful. I have to show you because I just love these so much. These were like one of my recent bigger splurges. So I love those. And then these are my favorite, favorite, favorite neutral lace-up um, heels. They're so comfortable. I like literally wore them to death last summer and I probably will do so again this year. Here are more sandals. And I want to find a better way to like make it look more pretty and not have like all this crappy tissue holding these shoes up. I think I need to buy some like, I don't even know what you would call them, but like shoe shapers that aren't like ugly like this because it looks gross having all that tissue paper. Now I'm standing on my little step stool because I can't see up this high, but up here I just have two of my Tory Burch Esper drills, more sandals, more random shoes. Sorry if you guys, if I'm, if I'm not angling this right, because I can't really see up this high, but I just have my 
pair of black flats, and then just more heels, more shoes that I don't typically wear as much right here. Forgive me for this angle, but I'm not that tall, but over here we just have some of our prettier shoe boxes that I just put here because I thought they looked nice. And then this is where Nick gets to be a part of the shoe wall. He has a pair of boots here. And then I have my snow boots here, and then those are Nick's Tim's. So he gets a little space. I didn't take all of it. All right, everybody. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little rundown of my shoe wall, shoe collection. Make sure to check out my Instagram because I'm always posting fun pictures of our apartment on there if you want to see more. And let me know if you have any questions uh, just about how we built it and all of the necessary things that were needed to put this wall together. So comment below, let me know what you think, and I will see you all in the very next video. Bye.